it's April 8th and I wanted to make a quick video as to how to harvest lettuce. Um, I go through a lot of lettuce. I eat a salad pretty much every single night. So I put in this very early lettuce. It's called Butter Crunch. It's about 50 to 55 days to maturity and it loves the cold weather. Uh, it's frost tolerant. So I put this in with the intention to harvest quickly. Now uh, there's some tricks to harvesting lettuce. A lot of people when they harvest lettuce they tend to just cut the whole head off and when you do that uh, you get a one and done head of lettuce you only get to use it once but I want to show you a little trick how I've harvest how I choose to harvest lettuce if you look underneath you'll see I've been pulling the bottom leaves off of this this lettuce for about three weeks now uh, so lettuce it grows out of the center head so as long as you leave that center head intact it's going to keep producing new leaves. So the way I've been harvesting, I've been able to eat off of this lettuce for three weeks now and the heads are just about as big uh, as they were when I started the very first harvest three weeks now, uh, from now. So, uh, three weeks ago, rather. So I wanted to show you how you can harvest lettuce to basically get an eternal crop. And when I say eternal, you know, it's not really eternal. This is a very cool season lettuce, so when it starts getting warm, it's going to start getting bitter. But never fear. That's why I have this Israeli romaine that is made to tolerate hot weather and not get bitter. So the plan is to harvest this cool season butter crunch lettuce indefinitely uh, until it starts getting bitter, at which case the main crop of romaine should be able to take over and I want to show you how you can harvest lettuce uh, kind of eternally as long as the weather agrees and it doesn't get too hot and you can eat off six measly heads of lettuce for weeks if not months. Now it's really very simple all I do is each day I come out to make a salad I just look for the six or eight biggest leaves the most mature leaves that are on the outside so, I take them, and I make sure to leave the inside of the plant unaffected. And that's all there is to it. That's enough to make a salad for me tonight. Uh, once you add in everything else. And I've been doing this for weeks. And here we are, still with six mostly full heads. And we have some nice 70 degree temperatures coming up for the next week or two. So they're going to push out more and more new leaves. And I'm going to keep eating them as long as they're not bitter.